Good morning. Hold on. Where the hell am I? Eric, what is going on, baby? What's going on? Let's see. There it is. There it is. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Um, yeah, I'm trying. I kind of have to do the like the uh, the five minute like countdown thing just because it gives people time to to be able to get into the chat and get into the live stream. Um, if I just started, it kind of just like people are like, oh, I missed it. Blah, blah, blah. So that's why we're, we're we're going back to that just because it's, it gives people a good time. Uh, get some time to, to get into the chat and get into the live stream. So welcome guys. Welcome back to another live stream. Uh, let's see who we got in here. Eric, what's going on, brother? Welcome. Welcome. Marcus, how you doing? Maybe knee from Chicago land. What is going on? Y'all what is going on? So changing it up a little bit today, today got a little flat glass work. Just a little bit, baby. <laughs> nothing too much. Nothing too crazy. A little backstory here. Um, so, um, they reached out to me actually this is um a, it's a local bar tavern restaurant place and um and essentially they have a walk-in cooler that shares a wall with the main dining room right and they boast because they got they have a, a lot of um hold on here alligator window tint super chatted four dollars and 99 cents welcome to wtv where we do live streams to make it seem like we are working weekends and not just being hung over ah i'll talk about that later morning alligator window tint good morning good morning um so this walk-in cooler basically shares a room with the main dining hall and it has two large windows in it and they have like a a lot of beers on tap um, but they just but they're it's clear glass two windows clear glass people can see right into the cooler um, And they don't just hold uh, You know the beer kegs in there. They hold uh, other foods and other things like that So they decided to go ahead and and cover up those windows. So they called ya boy um, So we ended up doing like a bronze 20 I think or it's pretty dark bronze uh, Or a bronze 7 It's like 7 or 20 something like that. It's pretty low pretty low, but we did bronze because the the decor inside the restaurant is is wood planks and a lot of bronze piping so or copper piping so i thought the bronze would have looked a lot better than than the silver so that's what we went with that so ah uh, let me think if there's anything else anything else yeah if you guys caught my uh my last live stream i oh my god i was dying i was dying if you guys couldn't tell i was I had the live stream already set, scheduled, ready to rock, and I was immensely hungover. I mean, I was, I mean, I had nothing. <laughs> like I had to turn my mic off and turn the camera off because I was running to go puke. <laughs> and then I came back. It was a really, really rough, really, really rough. Hopefully that's not going to happen anymore. Uh, um, this one, Eric, a uh, good question here is the film from solar effects. No, uh, with sun solutions, my window film. Uh, on my automotive window film is exclusively solar effects. Uh, I, I'm starting to dabble into more doing flat glass. The shop I was working for out and out in Lutz, um, essentially forbade me to, to, um, to promote flat glass for my business. They didn't care about auto because I live an hour away from that shop. So my clientele and I'm a mobile business, right? So my clientele really isn't the same as their clientele. Um, but um they were they were they were they're basically thinking that, that it's direct conflict of interest if i was promoting flat glass for my business while working for another company who is 90 percent flat glass which i mean in all essence i could understand why uh, but i'm a one-man person that can maybe lay maybe 150 200 square feet in a six hour time frame that's about all i can do just because i, I get tired of it and i'm like I, that's enough for me um so i mean little 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 bit they run like a five to ten man crew they're doing like three and a half million a year and, the, and they're like no nah, i don't think you should do it i'm like what am i gonna do i'm gonna take a couple hundred grand away for you maybe not even so i'm just glad i'm out of there thank god um yeah moving on to bigger and better better things doing my own shit now and i'm not being held back by anyone else it's nice i got all kinds of live streams that i was not allowed to do or not allowed to run because i was working there guess what i ain't working there no more so i'm gonna be running them <laughs> i got all kinds of stuff for y'all 
<laughs> David, what's going on, baby? Uh, Eric, yeah, is that why the stream just ended without saying bye? Yes, because I was fucking dying, bro. I was dying. <laughs> and I'm like, maybe no one will notice. And then, yeah, they definitely noticed. So, oops, what can you do? F uh, Marcus, flat glass is no fun. You know what? Here's the thing. Flat glass is no fun working for someone else because even at a good place, a good place might give you a dollar, a dollar 25 a square foot. And for me that like I told you, I can do like 150 unless they're like, unless they're sliders, my average is about 150, maybe 200 square feet um, a day, which is not a lot. Right? So when I do that at like a dollar 25, I'm talking, I'm maybe talking $250 a day which is which is okay which is still good money but like that's a long grind right but when you work for yourself and you do flat glass though those same jobs that you're working for someone else for for a dollar fifty a square foot you could be making hundreds of dollars you know you could be making more more towards seven dollars eight dollars a square foot which is roughly what what the going rate is around me so um much better money so that's what I'm into there. I'm looking to make more money working the things that I want to work, um, you know, on burn them and turn them. Now, if it happens to be a really big job, I can go in and uh, I can go in and I can find, I can find installers that, that can lay really well. And I just pay them a shit ton of money because when they, they, they're no one's saying no to $1.75 a square when they work for someone else for a dollar a square. They're like, fuck yeah. <laughs> they don't, they have, no one has loyalties, trust me. <laughs> uh so flat glass is no fun it's a lot more work that's why i have the film handler that's why um uh um i'm trying to think sorry you're distracting me martin uh evan what's the best way to advertise for flat glass hold on alligator window tint super chatted four dollars and 99 cents in non-trash talk news Thank you for vouching for me and your new FB group. Listen, bro. Listen, alligator. First of all, if you guys are part, uh, if you guys are in the state of Florida, I, I, I started a brand new group called Window Film or Window. T I don't even know. Florida, Florida Tinters Network. What the hell? I started. I don't even know the damn name of it. <laughs> Hold on. Florida Tinters Network. Okay. So there are some exceptions where like if you live in Georgia, and you're like 10 minutes from Florida, that's okay. But basically the, the, the point of the group is to bring in all kinds of window tinters, whether you're installers, whether you're owners, shop owners, whatever, uh, automotive, flat glass, security, glazing, it doesn't matter. As long as you're in the state of Florida, I, I wanna build this network together so that, um, so that like, let's say I get a huge job and I don't wanna turn the job down, but I need working hands. I can hit up a network and I can get two, three, four guys if need be. Uh, maybe I'm out of a, I'm, I, I need auto work or maybe my schedule is full and I need to refer someone, a client that's calling me and I need to refer them to someone local. Well, let me, let me reach out to my network and let's see who's local. So I know that I can send them to somewhere good. Um, a real working network that people are going to benefit and work for each other. So that's what we got going on. And, uh, I'm trying to start, uh, you know, start this whole, uh, the, start this whole thing of, of, um, just just it's not just a group where you just like post posts and you just talk shit and whatever and you, you bullshit about window tint from here and there and what it's about actually networking with people and actually being able to meet people you know martin fowler's got a gig he needs a hand or two um who's available and who can lay flat let me know right now i'll book you right now you know what i'm saying things like that that's what i'm talking about um summertime's busy uh, i got my flow was big i got a shit ton of cars is your shop dead is your shop slow do you want to come work for me for a couple days a week it's good all around baby you know what i mean that's that's the that's the whole point of it so uh it's not not it's not trash talk news okay it's not that at all it's 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 the relief that i'm finally free finally free um the fact that i that i shot videos there for years years and then out of the blue they're like no nope. like it it, it 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 was bothersome because it's like 
I was doing that for years, not a problem, but 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 now, but it, it like deeply affected my income, my lifestyle, everything because I couldn't shoot videos, so it it, re, it, it cut less than in, in the content that I can create and other things like that. So I'm just, it's nice to be free. It's not trash talking because it is what it is. Um, that is part of my past, and it's gonna stay in the past now. And uh, and I'm moving forward. I'm gonna do bigger, badder, badass things, and I'll never look back. So. That's not trash talking. That's just looking, looking forward towards the future, baby. Future. <laughs> uh, best way to advertise for flat glass. Um, just advertise for flat glass. I just, I mean, I don't advertise a lot for flat glass. I'm gonna, but uh, but video is always helpful. I am a big believer in Facebook advertising, so that's what I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be using, and I'm either gonna get a videographer in to shoot while I'm doing some flat glass installations, um, so I can put like a quick 30 second video up um or something pictures are good video is always better even if you have to record it your damn self who gives a shit just do it if you don't got a gopro duct tape a phone to your chest who knows do whatever the hell you have to do to get some video footage of you doing your thing and let so people can see it people need to see it you know and video is always helpful so uh david c i got my first flat glass job from uh cdc office uh, but we had uh carbon automotive film so that's not easy to work with that flat that film has too much glue and static than commercial film absolutely um and we're working in we're, we're starting to go into a realm where we rarely talk about this but i want to talk about this because this is what i do this is this is another facet of what i do um so automotive film if you guys have never worked with automotive film versus flat glass film the films work similarly but they are still a little bit different so uh, um, automotive film has what's known as uh pressure sensitive adhesive so when the more you push on it the better you the better it's gonna lay essentially long story short flat glass film has clear dry or quick dry i can't remember the hell which one it is clear dry or quick dry adhesive um so you're it's not as tacky as automotive films you can do other things like you can you can pull the liner without without being scared of it touching anything and just completely like just getting trashed um if you try to do a reverse roll if you guys don't know like that giant drop roll that drop roll technique um with flat glass film you can do that but if you try to do a drop a drop roll technique with automotive film you're fucked unless you have like a heavy pvc pipe or something to weigh it down inside the roll as you drop it, it you're not you're just gonna fuck up film so fair fair warning i've done it myself and a lesson learned and it's just something that i didn't know about uh, and then another thing too, if you're an automotive guy, you can do flat glass, but if you're a flat glass guy, it's not necessarily that you can do automotive because automotive, I think is, is, uh, I think automotive is a little bit harder, you know, um, flat glass. The rule of thumb is that you have to be six feet away from the glass, right? And you have to look through the glass, not at the glass. And this, if you don't see any imperfections or anything like that, at that specs, I think per the window film association or whatever that's considered that's considered um acceptable so with automotive you got six inches and fuck you i don't give a shit how many you know people don't care they're like no it's dirty fix it you know so i think automotive is definitely a little harder um and flat you just need a little bit more money a little more credibility and you need to be more careful because when you fuck shit up you end up uh you end up burning through a lot of film and you can win waste a lot of money so with uh with big risks come big rewards because cars only have so many square feet and flat glass um you can have a set of sliders and then you can have the rest of the the you know and maybe a, a bedroom and then maybe you have the whole house and then maybe you have the whole side you, you know it can blow up there'd be a lot of square footage uh evan gaming uh 1255 we're part of florida i'm in jacksonville oh i'm just outside of tampa but if you live in the state of florida and you're an experienced window tinter join uh window tint window tinting uh network because uh if you're not experienced then we're not gonna let you in because it's it's uh no hacks it's legit like people don't know what the hell they're doing that's what we need uh does every flat glass window get a eighth inch gap on the sides or just window windows with rubber gaskets um I, an eighth of an inch if you look closely an eighth of an inch is a pretty sizable gap um long story short i just I uh 
I click two blades and I put it right there in the corner and I try to make the, the light gap as minimal as possible. You know, a 32nd, a 16th, that's more than acceptable, I, I'm assuming. Um, there, There's no such thing as no light gaps in automo. I mean, in flat class, you're gonna have something as close as you walk close to it, but um, that's a deemed acceptable. I think an eighth of an inch might be a little too big. Um, and even a 16th might be a little bit too big, but less than a 16th is, is, is probably acceptable. And there's tricks you can do like you can trim the gasket on the inside um and lay the film and cut it to the gasket at that point and then the gasket on the inside is short or wider than the gasket on the outside and then you can eliminate a light gap that way so it kind of just depends on the framing that you're working with and, and and where you're going from there so uh nice to know 15 years doing automotive window tint evan get your ass in this group then let's do it let's do it um okay I think we got it. I think we're good to go. I think we're uh, I think we're ready. Okay, so this live stream is going to be about about an hour and ten minutes. Oh, an hour eleven minutes and nine seconds. That's how long the video is, barring me like stopping, pausing the video, and answering any questions or things like that nature. So, uh, without further ado, let's ado do. And move this here. I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera back on, <laughs> considering I'm not going to be dying in the background. Uh, let's do it. There we go. All right, good morning, y'all. Uh, today we're at a place called Craft Street, a local watering hole near me. And we're gonna be doing, um, we're gonna be doing a quick flat glass job. Uh, I still haven't uh, narrowed down exactly who, I, I, I work with, I don't know. I try to work. I, I try to see who I want to work with in regards to flat. I've been primarily using a lot of expel film with flat glass. Um, that's what I've been doing right now. But we'll see how it goes. Again, I don't do a lot of flat, so. All right. Set up here. Ah, so today we're going to be doing this window, and the same window on the other side for the cooler itself. Um, that's what we're going to be doing. This is my local watering hole too. I come here like once a week. Not too big of a job, <laughs> nothing too crazy. It's but... weird to come here during the day though. But the good thing is, is they own this restaurant and they actually own another restaurant right across the parking lot over there on the other side. Um, and then they own one more restaurant as well. I'm going to take a two footer just two in more. case. Two more restaurants actually. I think I can reach the top. I'm pretty sure I can reach the top, but just in case. might day. be a little overkill for this job it actually probably is um but i'm in no particular rush i don't have any time restraints on a on a two window job plus i have very I, I have just enough film to do it right the first time so i can't mess up so i know i could probably just unroll it and do it on the floor but i need it to be perfect so in that case i'm bringing the film handler I feel like if anything, it gives you a little bit of clout that you're like setting up gear and shit like that. People are like, oh, he's legit. It's like one of my fun like go-to's for automotive now now that i have it like permanently set up against the wall it's like for sure my go-to Uh, 
Evan, go to Facebook right now and join Florida Tinters Network. I don't see you, bro. If I had more film, I you know, even if I had enough for one extra, I don't even have enough for one extra. So I know I'm probably gonna get fucking chewed up about using a hand, film handler for two windows, but <laughs> like I said, I don't care. Plus, I need it to be done right. And get a window that says I'll super chat all morning as I'm laying XR plus uh, in a 250. F250. Maybe done right the first hmm. time. That's right. Hey, um, if there's no more priority uh, envelopes in the box right there, um, there should be a brown box. Ignore that. I'm talking to the old lady. Um, that says uh, Brayden says, "How did you land this job?" Um, they actually uh, networking. Um, one of the, I know one of the managers. Uh, she says hi to me all the time. Every time I go in to drink, at least once a week, and she knows I do window tint. And they were looking for that, so she relayed my phone number. So that's how it worked. When's the next automotive stream? Uh, the next automotive stream will probably be Friday. Friday. I'm shooting for like streams like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I was booked all day yesterday. Um, and uh, today I, I'm, I'm free, I'm available. So I'm going to be doing some live streams there. Um, so the next stream will most likely be Friday because uh, I am I am tied up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at a different shop, a local shop around here. So, But I'm set up for Friday, Saturday, Sunday on my own to do Sun Solutions, to do video content, to do live streaming. So answer Friday. Most likely we're going to be doing a um, Chevy Silverado on location, sides, back, and full front windshield. Um, going to be about two and a half hours ish. That's what we're going to be doing Friday. Uh, Parabenos Pelo Trabajo Brazil. I don't know what that is. How do I? How do I translate that? That's my knife. Some more blades. Box cutter. Maybe this. Maybe. Translate. Hard card. Congratulations on the work, Brazil following. Oh, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I just, I just don't, don't speak it. Apologize. Scrub pad. Washington says, is that flat glass film different from automotive film? And what I'll brand see. should I use if there I want to start getting yes, it to flat? Yes, sir. Uh, let me know if you need anything. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, do you think you'll get to that other window today? Um, I don't. I can't get the w other window because I have to get the film for it. But I was just gonna double check, kind of see. Which reminds me, I totally then, forgot. I still gotta no, do that goddamn that window. One, and then there was another the window oh my above God. it. Is He's that what you me. meant? That door on the side, and then that uh, window right above. Right it. above it. Okay, yeah. I, I, I told uh, Tiffany yesterday that I would. Uh, once I do this, I kind of check out what's going on there yeah. and see what we can do about getting okay. the film for it, then right, and get it done. All right, good deal. Excellent. Thanks, man. All right. That's the boss right there. But shit, I totally forgot about that goddamn door. Didn't need this. Really bad for me. Um, Blade. Is flat glass film different from automotive Most film? Blade yes, flat glass film primarily has a quick dry adhesive versus a pressure sensitive adhesive. Automotive has pressure sensitive and flat glass has quick dry adhesive. Those Big are squeegee. pretty Big much, squeegee. I mean, like the feel it wise is. and working with it, it could be a little bit different. That, that, that could be different. Um, everything else is pretty much similar. Except you don't you don't shrink flat glass. You gotta be a little more careful with certain things in flat glass. Ready to rock. Um, in flat glass film, different from automobile. Yeah. What brand should I use if I want to start getting into flat glass? I really need a flat glass belt. You know, it's. Uh, they make flat glass belts. Where like they have like. Here's the thing with uh, with uh, like flat glass film is the same thing as automotive film. You know, I can't give you an exact person to go to um, because everyone's budget's a little bit different. Everyone's. You know quality is a little bit different it's like asking me what kind of car you should get i don't know your style do you like trucks do you like do you like suvs do you like 
motorcycles do you like exotics do you like you know a thousand dollar piece of shit cars to just get you from a to b and you don't care um so um the only thing i can say is there's a lot of manufacturers out there do your research figure out which one works best for you That's all i can say best automotive film well i exclusively use solar effects window films for all my automotive needs all right. in my own personal business sun solutions tending so if that tells you anything at the inside this should be the same as the outside we're gonna check the inside again uh ba -ba 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 -ba. david says hey patrick you uh you doing mobile if i want to go mobile full-time should i get an llc or a corporation um that's a very good question so the question is, uh, should you get an LLC or a corporation in regards to the business? I'll answer this question real quickly and we'll go on with the, uh, with the video, um, considering it's not really that long of a video. Um, now I'm not uh, a CPA. I'm not a tax advisor, things of that nature. Incorporating or doing an LLC essentially, um, separates the liability from the business to your personal assets. Um, so if you get an LLC or a corporation, it separates your assets from the business assets. So in the event that you get sued and let's say they want to sue the company and if you have an LLC or a corporation set up, um, it's its own entity and they can go only after what's in the entity. Um, if you're doing a DBA uh, and you get sued, not only can they go after the business assets, but they can go after your personal assets as well, as well, cars, money, uh, houses, anything like that. They can definitely do that go check with a cpa for sure but um that's the main difference i have an llc super chatted four dollars and 99 cents do you need me to run you over some film for that window you forgot <laughs> uh no no you know what i uh, i don't need any film for that window um actually the new shop that i'm working for he was like bro i got that kind of film because him and i went to that bar to go drink. the boss one and i went to go drinking in there he's like i got that film i'm like really he's like yeah you just you grab it i'm like oh okay so nice to work with people that are anyways moving on thank you for the super chat building it up alligator window tint with $14.97 top d top super chat of the day thank you very much again appreciate it let's move on uh evan gaming do you do signs how do you mean like sign language or sign installation i do decal installations yes i do yes i do i mean i don't print the decals but i do the decal installations so i'll make you 56 and a half love solar effects window film they literally have a price point for every budget they really do they have like seven different lines of film and then like multiple shades within each Those line so you know even. that's that's good i love that uh, so 56 and a half a perfect square. You're going to hear so this like this background way. humming just because of the fans and stuff, but I, I make them turn off the fans when I start to install. Not make them, I ask them if they could turn it off. Oh, 55 and a half, so I'll make it 56 and a half. 55 and a half, I'll make it 56 and a half. 56 and a half squared. Move these here. How do you how do you do car tint cars outside since you're mobile? I don't tint cars outside. My clients either have garages or I don't work with them. The only other option is if they come to me. I have a garage that I house my my work van and i have it set up to be able to do mobile i mean to do tinting out of it um and that's the only other option my clients need to have an enclosed garage with power that i can roll the car in and work out of if not they can come to me and if neither of those work out then we don't do business together because i will not tint cars outside because it ends up it ends up looking like dog shit and then that makes me look bad in the long run so I am freezing in there. I have a jacket in there. So I'm trimming the I'm trimming the gasket back right here um, just because it's something that I'm used to and I always do in flat glass. And then about midway through, I realized that I don't need to do that yeah, shit because good. it's like, it, there's not gonna be light gap. It's it's an interior window. It doesn't matter. Uh-oh. 
T-Jet, 612, what's going on, baby? Quick draw That's belts from quick draw tools are great. Love mine for flat and auto both. Oh, see, I've been a big fan about the dirty pouch Golden. for auto, but uh, but I do want to try the quick draw belts uh, from Jeremy Shapiro. If you guys don't know, you guys have never messed around with uh, with flat glass belts, Jeremy Shapiro, uh, he runs All quick draw right. tools. He's actually like 30 minutes away from me too. Solid guy. Um, Should be pretty his fucking belts are awesome, especially for flat glass. And he just came out with a new segment of belts, I think for automotive too. I got to get my hands on both of them just to try them out. Just to try them out. Um, was there a lot of condensation on the glass? Um, actually there was. Okay, so th these these glass. Oh, I'm sorry, T Jet. Thank you very much for the five dollars super chat. Appreciate that, baby. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, there is a condensation on it. That glass is dual pane, um, but it was already the 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 seals were already failing and cracked at that point, um, and that was one reason because they asked me to originally put the film on the dining room side. The problem is that the condensation that you see is not on the inside, but on the outside. Um, so if I would have installed it on the dining room side, it would have been two fails. Number one fail is that that bottom edge uh, would always be wet and it would eventually peel and fail. Number two is that the diners are on that side of the glass. So people run into the glass, people hit their, the glass with, with, uh, with a purse um, or a chair and then you end up side. scratching the glass but if it's on the inside of the cooler not many people touch the glass on the inside plus it was there was no condensation on oh, that man. end so um so that's why i chose to do it on the inside it was cold <laughs> jesus but uh but oh, we got it mate. done I'm being kind of lazy. I don't want to. If I line up here, the edge right here, then I know that this measurement is going to be on. So I'll line up the edge with that. And this should be roughly lined up there. We're good to go. Now, when I move these cutters, they'll be exact and I don't have to, I don't have to measure twice, essentially. So I need 56 and a half, which is right here. And you can see there's a little notch. If you can tell, there's a little notch right there. That's what we're lining up with the measurement, 56 and a half. Now we're good to go. put it over okay so here's the thing I'm gonna be cutting here so I need to take my measuring tape and measure 56 and a half from the bottom of that I probably correct myself but there's two things wrong with this just to let you know number one the film doesn't go over the bar it goes under the bar the way I said oh I like going over no it goes under and number two one, two number one Number one is that the film goes under the bar, not over the bar. Number two is that you don't you don't measure from the bottom, you measure from the top. I'm a jackass on both of them. I probably correct myself, but if I don't, now I have. It's gonna be right there. So I'm cutting right there. My mark is gonna be right here. So I'm going to pull the film down to here. <laughs> TJ says the best thing about quick draw tools. You don't have to take the belt off to take a leak. That is so true. hundred percent true. Uh, no, I'll be cutting from up here. Actually. That is true. I have to rotate right the dirty pouch around to be able to here. relieve myself. Measure again. 
If this is your first time here, guys, uh, make sure to hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I go live or update and upload new videos, which I am actually doing now. <laughs> it's great. I'm doing at least I'm doing a live stream and then I'm taking a, a, a bit of fun out of each live stream so I can do a shorter dedicated video and I'm doing vlogs now. So, so I'm a dummy. I'm a maniac. Who's behind this bar? See how much, how often I don't do flat glass? So this is going to go behind this. It's going to go behind this bar. Put this bar up. And then that way the film can feed through the slitter right here. Don't mind me. I'm new. Learn it as we go, baby. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Pour it through there. And then just pull nice and evenly. I'm gonna pull straight down to get to that mark. That's it. Maybe, a, maybe a hair lower. There we go. Just like that. And now we're good to go. Right there. We're gonna go ahead and cut right there. Now this should be the liner side, film side here. That's the liner side. Double check. So that's the liner side and I want the liner side out because we are doing a reverse roll. I want the liner side in. I'm an, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so the liner is facing me right now. So when we roll it. more. Um, we're going to roll it with the liner side facing me and rolling towards me. You'll see. So then that way, when the roll is cut, it'll the exposed side will be the film side. More because there's a little slit right here. I'm going to make sure I have enough. So I'll make this the bottom. I'll make that the top. So this is a 20% bronze. 20% bronze. There you go. And we chose bronze because of the... Uh, bar aesthetic. Come on, baby. If you guys never worked with a film handler before, um, do. It's amazing. If they're $800. For the film handler probably another couple hundred dollars for the ladder set up the whole nine a thousand dollars probably uh to get this, this whole setup tight. going but absolutely worth every penny let me make sure i start from the top mm. especially with that film at the very bottom it was kind of eh. i think there's a solar guard in san diego but there's also a solar guard i think in like st pete st pete's like really close to me so i actually went to the facility there to get, pick it up and then that way i saved myself on freight because i just picked it up myself um or because freight charges could be expensive um, Solar, if you don't know, Solar Guard owns Film Handler. So check it out. Right, if anyone from Film Handler is watching and you want to be you a come a sponsor, twice. feel free to touch base with me. <laughs> do this one more time. I'm not going to need this film. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim it and get rid of it. Toss it. Now, I'm not going to save this, but I don't want to be a trash ball and just kind of throw film wherever the hell I want. So I'm trying to be like organized here because this is not my right. uh, place of establishment, Same my thing. business establishment. Pull straight down till we get to the 56 mark. Right about there. And that's it. Cause look, we're right at the tail end of the film. By the skin of my goddamn teeth, I finished that job. <laughs> uh. Alligator Window 10 says, You absolutely cost me 800 for bringing it to the job we did in Spring Hill. I know! <laughs> that job in Spring Hill made you buy one, and then I turned around and got one. So, because that the one I brought in Spring Hill wasn't mine. I borrowed it for from those someone. Are interested in flat glass as well, um, keep in mind that you could, you could also do this beforehand. And then just bring the film if you mess up and pull it out of the box. But you could do all this before you even get there. But your measurements have to be spot on. Spot, spot on. Which I think I'll be doing. Because most of the majority of my time at flat class jobs are is measuring and cutting film. 
But if I do that shit prehand, I could spend, I can save so much time and I can lay more film. I could probably lay twice as much film because I'm not sitting there with a film handler setting up and blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, in San Diego. Yeah, that Spring Hill job. That's all set. Uh, like Martin. Said, you see this roll? This is done. Just made so $1,800, right $1,600 off of us. It is why. Um, and it's worth every why penny. I bought the film handler or brought the film handler. I am not as efficient as most people are with flat glass, so I wanted to make sure that it was done correctly. Because it was... I'm going to try to pause it here. Do you guys see these white things at the edge that I put on the capper? If you guys haven't noticed, I put those on there afterwards on purpose. Um, those are the cappers for the ends of the rolls that film comes in. And I just cut off like the little, the little nubbin at the very end. So what this does is that it helps keep the film flat. Um, when it's unrolling, I've noticed without this, then when it unrolls, the end could like shift. The film could shift as it's unrolling and it could bind up and crunk crinkle the end of the film. But, uh, if you put this capper on first on this roller and then put the film on it keeps the film flat all the way through pro tip no room to mess up and these are just cores that i cut the tips off of and i put them as buffers here to keep the film flat because just using this i've noticed that when you unroll it, it could start fraying the edges and then it kind of screws up that factory edge so I don't even know why, why the fuck I talk sometimes. That way. Now you know. I mean, it, I, it's better to say it twice than not say it at all, I guess. Tighten everything down. I constantly do that. Constantly. And I'll just leave this just like that. Hopefully no one will touch it. I don't think I'll need the two footer and I think we're ready to start prepping. See, so this job took a couple hours. It took me 23, 24 I'm so minutes. About how much prep goes in? Cause you guys open up at four, right? right. But y'all got people in here at nine. I come in at three. In, oh my Lana. This bar do doesn't right open till four. How you doing? And she's in there at three in the morning, prepping everything. It's a really great place and really great food. And clearly they have a lot of beer. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's not been too bad. Down. 24 minutes for, for setup this and prep. This is a cooler in here. So things won't evaporate as, as quickly. So just want to always put a tarp down. That's a cooler and not a freezer, so I'm not worried about like water freezing Where'd and then someone slipping. Monica? Yes. We're just about ready for the install. If we could turn off this, the, the fans, I don't know how to do Let it. Let me see if I know how to do it. And then if I don't <laughs> so know many how, switches. There's a lot. This one. Beer yes, cooler. I apparently don't know how to do it. Because okay. That's already off. There's another one that says beer. Oh, it says lights. Don't it. mind me. Don't mind me. John's the boss, the, the boss man. Okay, so we should be good to go. These are the windows now. I'm gonna take some before pictures actually. Pictures, document pictures. Pictures are the best. I'll tell you what, and he, okay, hold on. Cause this is important. This is super important. Are you ready for this one? Document everything that you're doing. Right. Number one, I shoot video with GoPros on my face just because I do content, but I do it secondary. Uh, another reason why is if they claim that I damaged something, I have proof whether I did or I did not. Um, so do document that stuff to keep your ass covered. But also I'm taking before pictures. I'm taking after pictures. I'm taking lots of pictures during, um, 
because I want to take those pictures and then I want to upload them to Google. I want to upload them to my Facebook business page um, because people love to see the work that you've done, you know? It, the one game changer for me is is uploading a lot of pictures to Google um, uh, to my Google business page because that that has really turned around a lot of business for me and I'm starting to, to notice it so strong tip back at it here we go oh that's you know what this would have been a good much. thumbnail I always want to take some before and after pictures. Please don't tell that me. That way, you can show, you can promote with it, you can do a bunch of stuff with it. All right, I didn't go too deep into it. Set off a timer? Oh, we're good? Yep. They told me to call you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's the boss. All right, so what we did was we had them turn off the fans, obviously because you don't want to be installing with fans. It's a lot. It's not as loud either, so. Took some pictures before. I'm gonna take some pictures before here as well. Click that's one. Click that's two. Now keep in mind, they're trying to reduce as much light as possible. There's nothing on here right now. Normally I would trim this edge um, to reduce a light gap. And usually like the bezel or like the, the edge right here usually goes basically to a point. It's really hard to cut a clean edge on like when it comes down into a point, but these are pretty butted up straight so I can cut straight down. Plus again, because these are inside, it's not gonna be, we're not gonna have a light gap issue. So that's not gonna be the problem. Um, so that's gonna be good. The issue is, is that this light wattage, when you do tinted windows, as long as the source, the light source outside is lighter than the source inside, then you're probably most likely Brighter. gonna be okay. Now for code, they have to keep these lights at a certain wattage. I think they're like 45. And those lights are 25 watts. So technically these lights are brighter than that. So it's gonna do, it's not gonna be as effective, but it's still be effective because we are putting tint on the glass itself. So I've explained all that to the client. That's why when you see like, um, People doing interviews, like uh, in, like they're when like police officers are interrogating people and they have like the two-way mirrors. Always the people on the inside of the two-way mirrors, like that are watching the interview, um, are always in a dark room for that reason. That's why you need. Um, that's why it's important. So when you're doing flat glass as well, keep in mind. Like when you tell people, like let's just say people do their living room and they're, it's open to the street. At night, because the lights will be on inside and not outside, you'll be able to see through that glass. You know, and you have to tell people, be aware of that. The only way around that for a residential job is if, um, is if you put like floodlights outside, set up floodlights outside, and then that shine on it at night. That's the only way to get away with it, to go to get around it. All right, let's see, put my hand on it. Wow, it's cold. Oh, it's so cold. I'm just putting my hand on it so I can feel other things, debris, dirt. It sucks because it's cold and it hurts, but it's okay. Bump the edges, because the edges where the film's gonna touch, I don't want the edges to be catching any dirt or debris. Also down here was pretty dirty. So I'm cleaning the window sill because my film is gonna overlay and I'm gonna have to trim the edges. So when it's touching the, the Frame, they wanted to tint, I don't want to actually not this side, but the dining room side. And I had to explain to them that the dining room side would mean that the film is exposed, number one, to clients, which means that anyone that's sitting at that table, let's say a young lady or something like that, throws her purse over her shoulder, um, 
is now going to hit the window and that's going to be no good. Get a little grime in there. Panda Bear says, how'd you get the lead on this job? I drink bourbon sure at this bar. Edge. Actually, I just want to make sure it's nice and clean. Hold on. Clean. Wait for it. That bar, that seat right there is my typical seat. So the bartender, the bartenders know me. The manager, the general manager knows me, and, again, and they're that's looking true. for the edge this. Because it's so habit. And she knows that I do tend so. On a normal networking class gig, you you would uh, you trim the edge, um, but again, you trim the edge because you're kind of avoiding any light gaps. Um, but there are not going to be any light gaps because this window's on the inside. Uh, Evan Gaming, good question. Um, every every market's a little bit different. On average, in the, in Florida, in my area, a decent price point per square foot is seven dollars a square foot. That's that's what it is. Um, and then, but then that varies. I was always told to stay like an inch away from every. Hold on one second. Uh, so that varies a little bit dependent on your market. Um, I hear that like because in Florida, everyone's a tinter, right? There's a shit ton of tinters in Florida. So you there's. Um, the market's flooded, so you gotta bring the prices down. But up north, like close to the Mason Dixon line and above the Mason Dixon line, I hear you can get fucking fourteen dollars a square foot up there. Like so every market's just a little bit different. Um you wanna be you wanna be in the same ballpark as everyone else. So just kinda shop around and if you don't know, call 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 the flat glass shops in your area, pretend you're a customer and ask them, you know, what the going rate is. Or talk to them. And don't lie to them <laughs> either or whatever i've done both so it doesn't matter <laughs> um but here seven dollars a square foot is is typically what i'm going to be going in at um and a minimum of uh i think 200 square feet or something like that 300 square feet 100 square feet i don't know something like that whatever um, and then I'd max out and then it depends. It depends. Cause, um, I tried to keep like a 15 to 20% film cost on my jobs. <clears throat> so I have to be able to keep, uh, that in mind. So I'll do the math on it. And then if the math calls for more than $7 a square foot, then I'll go ahead and bump that price point. Um, but I did, you know, I got hell. I got off the phone with, with Martin Fowler last yesterday. Cause I did an estimate that like, whew, this shit scared me not scared me but did scare me so because i work um i work primarily automotive right but i'm starting to dabble into a lot more serious flat class work and i went and met with a client they wanted to do they want it's 380 square feet it's a it's a condo in clearwater on the beach literally i can open their window and spit and hit the ocean this is how close they are to the beach and and I didn't even think about it. And like at $7 a square foot, it's like $27, $2,800 to get all this work done. Um, but they want like high rejection, clear film. And there's another film that I'm looking at from Expel that's like clear views plus or something like that. I forget. I haven't even heard of it. And this stuff is stupid expensive. And at $21 a square foot, it's like, it's like a nine thousand dollar estimate and i was like i called fowler i'm like yo we need to talk is this like am i insane or or, or is this right or what do you think and whatnot um and we had a really good conversation a really really good conversation this is why it's important to have like tinter friends um tinter friends that are professionals and know what the hell they're doing don't be friends with like scumbags um but um because then you can bounce off ideas and talk to them and be like yo i'm really nervous about this is this right do you feel right is this what you do and you know he kind of talked me off the ledge let me know that you know just i mean this you gotta look at the at the real life you know it's not my budget like that's a lot of money for me right but this is a half million dollar condo in on the beach of clearwater and and uh, you know most likely they can afford it and i'm gonna give them a, a few different options if they go with a ten thousand dollar option that'd be fucking amazing but even if they go with a three thousand dollar option i'm still making money so um so yeah that's uh that's where that's where i'm at i'm getting a little bit more comfortable but just because you don't see those kind of numbers with automotive you the best you'll see is maybe a thousand maybe fifteen hundred if you're doing every glass with the best film possible so when you're when you're throwing out quotes at three thousand to ten thousand dollars then uh you know that it gets a little nerve-wracking and you want to make sure that you do that shit right so um big shout out to martin martin's been a, a good friend a good business uh a good business uh networky networker and um 
And yeah, you know, he helps me. He talks me off the ledge from time to time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me go ahead. Let's go back to here. Let's get going. Everything. An inch away from the edge. And always squeegeeing 50, overlapping 50-50. And then you wipe the edge with your hand. Squeaky clean, baby. I know there are varying ways, but the guys at my shop have showed me this, and the guys at my shop are fucking awesome at what they do. So they really are. The guys over at Advance, the guys that do the installs over over in the the shop at Lutz. I'm gonna go ahead and trust them. They're amazing. Plus the shop did do like three and a half million last year in flat class, so I'm assuming they know what they're doing. All right, so that's clean. I'm gonna go get the film. Whew, You're learning time. well, Grasshopper. You, you can eat my ass, alligator. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> if you guys don't know Martin Fowler, Martin Fowler's been tending for three years. This man, um, went to the tent school in Jacksonville, learned how to tent like Congrats three weeks pieces. later, got an LLC, so quit his job, here. started his own corporation or, or company and just fucking ran with it. Okay. That's, it's a fucking amazing story, but it's very far and few between. So he's got fucking balls. I'll tell you that much. I love him. <laughs> okay. Put this film up here and hopefully keep an eye on making sure no one touches that and then we're ready here i gotta take off this mask because i gotta lick this film <laughs> kind of a bigger piece of film that's why i'm reverse rolling it now it does the these are like double paned windows Obviously, I don't have to worry about double pane windows because there's no sun hitting it. But it does look like the seal's already been broken because there's moisture right there, as you can tell. And that moisture's actually between the glass. Oh, and I was explaining before that the owners actually wanted me to do it on the Balls outside. of steel, yes. In the dining area. But it's wet down there at the bottom. It's condensation or something. So it'll never dry. Plus, people will run into it. Jesus. We do need to talk about double pane glass over a large window with a with like an awning. Um, there's only certain kinds of films you can put on there, and we should talk about that as a segment. Um, because if you put the wrong film on the wrong glass with the wrong awning on there, you will most Splitting definitely crack that glass. Something we should talk about. Separating the liner and the film. I actually purchased my LLC six weeks before class, I went to tent school. I'm a crazy person. automotive, which is probably going to be a lot of you if you're watching this channel. Um, flat glass film has a different adhesive than automotive film. Automotive film has what's known as a pressure sensitive adhesive. I quit. And um, flat glass film, automotive has pressure sensitive, and flat glass is um, clear dry, clear dry adhesive. I'm gonna go get another uh, cup of coffee. Martin so Fowler, keep these people straight. I'll be right back. So we wanna have one factory edge or two. But since I trimmed this top edge, it's not gonna be as straight. the water or the cold but it is trying to stick on me so I'm gonna get a little bit more wet on this side a 
peel it. Let me get a little wet on this side. Alligator window tin super chat at nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So as much point, as I talk trash, I have learned an incredible amount from you flat. and your channel. That's, that's a straight Thank edge you, sir. factory edge. You are a gentleman so and I'm a just scholar. That straight and butt it right up against that straight edge right there. That doesn't seem to be straight, probably because the window is not straight. So I'm going to lift it, and we're going to cut all four corners. So we're just going to overlap all four corners. I'm going to make sure I did an inch over, so I got to make sure that we're covering. Looks like we're good. We're going to trim all four corners. So what I'm going to do. Tack down the top. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start squeegeeing it. And don't squeegee all the way to the edge. Just about an inch or two. We'll bump uh, uh, an inch away. We'll bump the rest when we get there. trying to do because we are in a walk-in cooler I'm trying to um, squeeze out as much water as possible because this is gonna take a while for it to dry By the way, this is an eight inch squeegee compared to my normal five inch. I think the normal one's five, right? I got a cup yeah. of coffee. Jesus, hold on. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's see what the hell I missed. Alligator, I did the same. Eric, you're a psycho too. Uh, $10 super chat from Alligator Window 10 says, as much as I talk trash, I've learned an incredible amount from you and your channel. Thank you, sir. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Oh, this fucking guy. Look at him. So fucking nice. <laughs> uh, you need an energy drink, Pat. I know. I know. Uh, feels good to do it yourself your own way. Yes, I'm trying. I'm trying, fuckers. I'm trying. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Okay, here we go. And go. I'm gonna do it one more time again. Just because it's so dang cold in here. I'll try to get out as much water as I possibly can. Somehow I got a kind bar for kids. Oh well. Uh, Orange Crush. Question is, what's my favorite? Orange Crush or Blue Max? The edges. And then I what I'll do is I'll trim all the edges and then bump it with a hard card. I don't think Bluemax comes with a wide 8 inch blade. Orange Crush does. Plus, I know that people are fusion and I know they care. I've never met Bluemax people. I have no idea who the hell they are. These are rounded edges. So I'm going to notch out a quarter. Right there, a corner. And that way I have a 90 degree. Plus the fresh blade. And just like automotive, you can do two clicks out. Just follow that edge. In fact, this is decaf coffee.
my angle changes here, so I'm just going to change my angle, go downward, and up with it. this whole thing one more time. I'm actually going to bump to the edges this time. Every game and asks what kind of solution I use. Um, filtered water and Jane J baby shampoo. Use a shit ton of it too. Four gallons of water to 15 ounces of Johnson's baby shampoo. Three quarters of a big bottle. It's a lot. Especially when I get this flat right here in the bottom. I don't want anything pulling up right there. Always excess water right here. I just take the extra rags, kind of clean up the excess. Always just in the corner. It's not on the actual window. Joe V says, "Love watching both you and Matt. Keep doing what you do. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it." Evan Gamer says, "Do you do any security film? I don't, because the security film is eight mil. Um, I'm still like get my shit my shit wet with the uh, with the old two mil, <laughs> regular 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 solar film." So not really into security films just yet. Plus you, you have to know how to glaze to do it correctly. So um, maybe, maybe in the future, I want to learn. But if you think 
you, if you think your your flat glass cleaning needs to be good um, with okay. regular solar film, um, your cleaning needs to be damn near perfect with eight mil because you can wrap film around a piece of debris with regular flat glass film and just call it a day. But with security film, it's so thick, a little tiny Shouldn't grain of problem. sand or something like that will be the size of a half dollar because right. it pushes the rest of the film around because you can't wrap the, the eight mil around the, the contamination. So eight mil is no, no joke. One, one, no, 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 no. One to go. those tarps by the way those tarps are three feet oh, wide and i think so by far. 12 feet long um but okay. one side is a grippy side and one side is just a regular tarp here. side you can only get those from home depot lowe's doesn't have them can... they're amazing i also have a ridiculously expensive pair of knee pads too for like some black glass work where i'm gonna be on my knees I'm trying to be comfortable like legit like these knee pads were like 60 dollars <laughs> But like they wrap yeah, around my good. knees and my shin and then like Shit's they wrap scary. around like four different places so we won't, they won't move and they're super comfy and gel and... 44% We're good Checking the battery Here. Fucking masks. I'm so sick my, of this shit. My spray can in this tent, in this keg, fridge. <laughs> that right there. Put these all back where I found them. Pretty sure I found this right here. I'll move. the edges first. Pick up any grime right off the rip. I don't usually get that trashed. I got trashed. And I went to the casino and I blew $400, Martin. <laughs> the old lady wants to murder me. <laughs> In my right defense, there. I was up like $600 my first like three hands. And I'm like, mm, I got this. Then I was just like, Big swinging it all night and lost, <laughs> lost it all. <laughs> They're working in the up north. I'm sure, it's not usually this cold on the inside, up north, but whatever. So we're pretty much halfway done. Exactly know what that is, but I am part of the glass. They keep a lot of desserts, maybe up against, because they moved a dessert tray from away from this window. So maybe they have desserts to like kind of spray up.
you know, I kind of don't mind doing it like this where like I'm not actually live, but I'm reviewing it as I'm doing it because sometimes like when I'm at the job, I'm focused on doing the job and not really focused on like teaching or talking or, or anything else like that. So I kind of like it that I get to see because this is a second opportunity for me to like critique myself even. Plus, I don't think I'll ever be live on a flat class job. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if I mentioned, but this is actually my local bar. <laughs> I usually sit right there at that bar right there. <laughs> they make amazing old fashioned, smoked old fashions. Good vibe. Good food too, they're really good food. Again, I don't know what some of these are. So there's some like splatters on the glass. That's on the inside. I mean, inside, I mean like between the two pillars. Thirsty. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm the only guy in this entire bar that drinks Woodford Reserve Double Oak bourbon. So, and it's only up on the top shelf. They only have one bottle. And the only reason why they only have one bottle is because I oh, killed the other stuff. bottle that they had. So they had to get right another bottle just for me. <laughs> but whenever that bottle comes off that top shelf, they know I'm in the house. That's how, that's how the manager knows I'm here. She's like, that's the only way I know. It's a sign. When someone grabs that bottle up there, I know you're here somewhere. I'm like, oh. Sounds like I'm an alcoholic. I'm really not an alcoholic, though. I have, like, two bourbons. Maybe four. And then I'm fucking done. <laughs> this isn't my actual squeegee. But I figured... It is smooth. I do this. And then I put, run my hands over it. I can kind of see like that what's on this glass. Some sort of string thing. squeeze you for real. It reminds me when I first started tinting cars. I'm not the fastest in, in flat by any means. I average 150 square feet in about six hours. That's like average windows, not like sliders or anything like that, which is not that, which is not that fast. Um, but the time will come. But I'm just more focusing on clean installations. Clean, clean, clean. That's what I'm focusing on. The time will come. The speed, that will come in time. All right. Will you and Matt do another sit and chat show? Definitely possible. Absolutely possible. Uh, Matt's just been busy. He's he's had a busy year getting his his shop set up. Um, the city coming down on him uh, of, about running the, the his garage shop. 
Um, I've had all kinds of stuff with all uh, with alligator. God damn it, Martin. With uh, <laughs> with sun solutions and and other stuff. So um, I think I'm you know. And Matt that. just had a baby. Let's so feed some out. Hopefully soon. So I can get it wet. Right here. Right here. Start rolling it back, and that way, when I peel the liner, the liner has something to stick to. Evo says, "Do the paper towels leave little fibers behind with for you?" No, that's why I use them. Busy is busy is good. I know, Joe. Like busy is good, but but we're both content creators, so we have to be able to make time for content. That's what we want to do. Evo only use bounty. Yeah. You know, the Costco Kirkland brand isn't that bad, and it's like 30% less than Bounty. Just saying. Just gonna throw that out there. All right, here we go. I did fill up my tank yesterday and it is pretty lean so hopefully hopefully these seals are straight and square then I could just cut two sides instead of three I think my my slip my my slip might be a little too lean because I can't really move it right now. I gotta wet it, re-wet it, so I gotta put a little more soap in there. I think this Dude, is because it's freaking freezing. Never an issue. Here. I've done sliders and I've done other windows, and, and once I lay it, like I can slide. You get that straight edge here, you get that straight edge there, and... But I think it was so cold, this is why I couldn't, uh, um, I couldn't move it. Not a lot of waste. Look, I'm perfectly, like... Alright, I'm up this top edge. Still a little bit of gap. Awesome, I have the Kirkland ones. Yes! Wait, microfiber towels or the paper towels? The paper towels, I think, are good. Looks like the, the windows aren't exactly square, and that happens. I have a garage full of them, that actually. Happens. Those are Kirkland ones. <laughs> now that I think about it, I bought like six packs too many, and then so I had to buy them. I had to keep them. I'm like, screw it. Making sure all my edges are covered, which they are, but look, an inch over, and I am like, perfect i'm not like over if i had way too much it'd be going into this frame if i have like four inches over it'd be going into the frame all right i like the kirkland microfiber for auto and the kirkland paper towels for uh for flat guys to do flat glass is you just adjusting a small little adjustments like for auto guys this is like massive pieces of film the biggest piece of film we have is usually like maybe a front windshield probably a front windshield or some back windows like so like a piece of film that's 60 by 60 damn near is a big fucking piece of film for auto guys All right. Let's go ahead and. Uh, Ironically, that's what you need for a Tesla edge. Model Three back window, full back window. And trim all four sides.
the humming is really annoying. It's really loud too. Let me get lower it down like that. Oh. Yeah, the humming from the uh, cooler is obnoxiously loud. So, sorry. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a big fan of using uh, paper towels for cars, but I'll use them for autom uh, for for flat. Um, but automotive, I've I've always been a microfiber towel guy. Remember, I had a trouble on that corner, the same corner here. I'm having the same same kind of trouble. Because I didn't, the angle wasn't the same. Some upcoming live streams, a Chevy Silverado, uh, full sides and back and front windshield um, on location. Uh, that'll probably be sometime next week, Friday. I also have another residential flat glass installation. I did uh, a set of sliders and a bedroom window. Um, that will be at some point. And yesterday I did a Nissan Pathfinder. The thing with flat is that it's flat. There's no shrinking. There's none of that. What do you use to, to clean the windows after the install? Um, I usually just wet it down and squeegee it again. Um, but alcohol, 70% um, alcohol uh, mixed like 80, 20, 70, 30, uh, diluted right. with water. Um, it's solid, edge. it's perfect. Some of these fingers on the edge they just keep popping up because of the moisture so if you hit it with a paper towel wrapped a hard card wrapped in a paper towel most of the time you're good mm. that's pretty good And there is a light hair gap, light hair. I mean, tiny, so tiny you can you can barely see it. I'd say I'd probably say 30 seconds, if not smaller. So that's one hard thing that I thought like there had to be no light gaps. But when you roll with other flat glass guys, you start learning that like there's like a baby light gap, baby baby. Pretty fucking good, boys. Not too shabby. I spent uh, an hour and eleven, an hour and fifteen down. minutes, and I may I charged them three hundred and fifty dollars. Clean it up afterwards. So that's a pretty good. That's I'd say that's a good ROI. So I can soak up the majority of this moisture right here. Yeah, it was about 50 square feet. Squeaky clean. some bourbon they don't keep the bourbon there all right just the beer the bourbon's above the bar 
take the liner from the biggest piece. Throw it all the trash in there. Roll it up. And now you're, now you're good to go. Clean up my tarp. Probably gonna need to be washed after today. It is gross in here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need to wash that. Where was this? I think this was over here. This one was over here. And this one was over here. And these two little ones were over here. I should probably take pictures next time. That's one thing. When I do commercial or residential, I'll move furniture and then I'll forget how it went. I'll forget how it came oh, it back together. All right, I'm gonna take an after picture. After picture. Take a look outside. Okay. Scrubby away, face mask on. Oh. Woo! It is cold in there. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, thank you. Oh yeah, much better. Now you're not as hiding it as much as it was. It's bronze much more reflective than it was. Bronze reflective. But because of the light on the inside and the out, if you turn the light off on the inside, that would be completely dual reflective bronze. but because the light's on the inside, that's why you can still kind of see through. But not bad at all. All right, guys. I'm just gonna clean up everything in reverse, but that's pretty much my flat glass gig. That's what we got going on. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So that's pretty much it guys um you know we'll stick around for a little bit a couple you know a couple minutes if you guys had any last minute questions concerns shout outs criticisms quick shade window tinting says i'm late dual zone or or silver reflective it was a uh uh, uh it was a bronze reflective 20 percent so that's what it was um but yeah yeah mm -hmm. fun little little different god why is it boost up like now like like views boost up like after I stopped the live stream. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see here. Anything else? Anything else? I got to do a couple estimates. 
Uh, Joe V, no worries, brother. No worries. I have a big estimate to uh, to prepare for. Uh, see if we can get this and land this gig, which would be nice. Um, but, 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 besides that, that's kind of it. I don't know. I got nothing else really planned for today. I got to do some DSP stuff. Oh, that's another thing too. Let me see how many we got left. Um, hold on. Let's see here. Hold on. I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. The quick draw tools we were talking about. So if I Google quick draw tools. So if I go to quick draw tools right here, um, then it's quickdrawtools.com. Uh, this is run by Jeremy Shapiro. This is Jeremy Shapiro right here. He does automotive. He does flat class. He, um, he makes things. He's like a, a, an entrepreneur and, a, and an inventor. Um, pretty awesome stuff. So he, uh, this is a new tool belt Marine for Marine and auto, which is kind of cool. Um, and then. He's had the quick draw, the tool belt, the evolution tool belt. This is like the been like the go-to tool belt for, um, for flat glass guys. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal tool belt. Um, you know, you get, you get like this, uh, paper towel holder, um, packets, like all these, all these little belt loops and things like that. It's really, really amazing stuff. Let me see if we can show another picture. See, so there you go. Um, inserts for your um for your different tools and pouches and squeegees let's see here blade eaters uh these, it looks like there's some covers for it. oh it comes in blue too that's cool oh, see i would definitely dig on the blue but i mean look you got all kinds of different colors oh i know martin fowler would love that one martin what'd you think about that baby that one's sweet um but yeah this is uh this is this quick draw tool but this is for flat glass um a couple hundred dollars i think it's worth it you know, the, uh, the dirty pouch is like 150 absolutely worth it. I think, um, so this is the new belt Marine and auto. You guys want to check it out? What do you guys think? Let's, let's take a look. Hold on. Oh, you know what the quiet, you know what the thing is though? I'm totally, <gasps> nope. This is, this is, this is under fair use. So my concern is do I, if I play this YouTube video, am I going to be popped for, for, um, for, um, what's the word I'm looking for? copyright infringement right because i'm showing someone's video that's not my video actually within the within the laws and the rules of fair use um as as long as i'm reacting to the video that's considered okay and i can do that i just can't take the video and reconstruct it in a way um or re, re react it in a way uh, in a certain way just trust me let's watch this there's no audio Hi, I'm Jeremy Shapiro with Quick Draw Tools. Now I'd like to show you another type of setup with our customizable tool belt. This setup can be used for trades such as auto window tinting or marine window tinting. The reason why is because there's no metal exposed. If you had metal exposed, you like could that. cause damage to the vehicle or the boat. So in this case, all the metal will be held inside of the material. First of all, we have a bottle holster. In marine window tinning and auto tinning, you would use most likely a spray bottle. So we have a holster for that spray bottle that will keep it in perfect position for you to always use it. The spray bottle can be on any side. It can be moved around. If you're left-handed like me, you'd keep it on the left. If you're right-handed, you would just simply move that over to the right. This is our multi-use pouch. The multi-use pouch can be used for many things. In this case, for what I'd be using it for, I'd be using it for window tinting. So for me, I have my alpha knife in a slot. I have my snapper box in a slot. I have cool. my hard card holster. And then both of my squeegees will actually fit down into the material. So no metal is exposed and you can always keep it hidden from the vehicle or the boat. Just to show you one of the features that will work great for you in auto tinning is going to be our snapper box. The snapper box has a design to it where it's large enough to accommodate the one inch blades that you would use on your jobs. Those blades are both dangerous Ooh, for you that's smart. and also I for did, your customers. I never really vehicle. thought about that. So okay, so that's pretty good, right? Because 
um the the little breaker box that i have is like it's only for alpha blades and that's from alpha itself i think he makes these i think he manufactures these but that's a really good idea is that like it can house the one inch razor blades because what do i just like fucking throw them in the trash or something like that but you can't be doing that shit if you're on location in someone's garage for automotive or if you're working on someone's yacht so that's definitely definitely a thing here so uh that's really good keep going let's go so you can actually put the blade down through the slot it's held in the magnet, so it's gonna be safe. You don't have to worry about it, both again for you and their vehicle. Another feature about all of our tool belts that I'd like to show you is how you would customize them. Basically, there's a strap that holds the pouch nice and firm. Okay, see, and that's another thing I like about these pouches. These the the, the Jeremy Shapiro does is there, there, there's it's not like one size fits all. It's not like this is my this is my belt. If it doesn't, if you don't like it, fuck off, right? Like you can maneuver all kinds of things. If you don't, I don't use a spray bottle, so I wouldn't get that pouch. Um, but you can easily a attach a carabiner to the belt, and you're good to go um for for a sprayer but like you can you can maneuver this if you're left-handed move the shit to your left side if you're right-handed move the shit to your right side you can you can get as many pouches as you want or as few pouches as you want so um that's uh, it's kind of like one of the ingenious things that he does about this so much respect to him on this um let's keep going and you can actually just take it off everything is velcro every part that we have is basically like a velcro strap those velcro straps go into a slot that's held open so those slots are held open by how we sew the material. You simply put it down into the slot. You take the strap. The strap goes around the back. And you now have a belt that works exactly for you, tailor-made. Okay, first of all, you guys are hilarious. He says he looks like a mini Martin Fowler. Uh, I, you guys clearly don't know Martin Fowler. Martin Fowler is only like five foot one. <laughs> Jeremy Shapiro is like damn near six foot and stocky. So it would be reverse. It would definitely be Martin Fowler, <laughs> like the mini me version. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Thunderdome, motherfucker. Well, wait a minute. He was doing holding guns. Maybe he's not so mini. <laughs> Martin holds guns. Uh, Savannah, welcome, welcome to the to the stream, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for subscribing. So how do you, uh, so how do you charge for this job? How did you charge for this job? Justin, I charged uh, seven dollars a square foot. It was fifty square feet. Charged three hundred and fifty dollars. That's how much it was. In this case, I use a few different types of pouches. So I have my multi-use pouch for my different tools. I have my bottle pouch, and I would use some scrubby pads. So I actually have another pouch here on the right where I would keep my scrubby pads. My alpha pack is held here. My keys are held in the back. There are some open slots. There's some places to be able to add different types of tools if you want. We have a two inch clip to keep it nice and I comfortable. Like that clip. The belt is one size fits all. There's plenty of material no matter what size you are, this belt will fit you. So now you can see how customizable our tool belts are. They're 100% American made. You can find us on Facebook, look up Quick Draw Tools, or quickdrawtools.com on the internet. Thanks so much for your time. I hope you enjoy. Uh, fair warning, just to let everyone know, this is not a paid advertising. Like, uh, Shapiro doesn't know, like, I was just going to pop his shit up and just play it, whatever. Um, so don't think that there's, like, some underlying thing about this. So I, I'm not associated with Jeremy Shapiro or his belts or anything else like that. I just, I find them really interesting, and I think they're really, uh, they're a really good quality brand. I like quality brand stuff. Like, the Dirty Pouch is like the Ferrari of automotive pouches, you know? Shapiro stuff, they're like the Ferrari of, like, uh, tool pouches. I like, I like stuff like that. I don't like the 13 pocket generic um, tool belt. I don't like that thing. I don't like that thing at all. So, uh, camera angle. <laughs> that camera angle. You can change camera angle all day long, but all you need to do is put the camera just a few inches below your eyes, and then you look bigger, you know? You bring the camera a couple inches above your eyes, then you look tiny. <laughs> yeah. Quick shade window tinting. I would have swore he was six foot. Yeah. No, he's all he's all five foot one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not really five foot one. I don't know. I mean, he's pretty short though. <laughs> I don't know. He's not that short. He's not that short. Um, okay, so that was a good video there. Um, does he have a video for this for the flat glass considering this is a flat glass video? Let's see here. He does You want to check it out? Screw it. Let's do it All 
Evolution Tool Belt. Again, this is for flat glass. This is our Evolution Tool Belt. It's evolved over the years. This is our most updated version. This is set up for a window tinner. If you're not a window tinner, there may be some parts that you don't need, which would be like a paper towel holder or this box. But for window tinners, this is a scraper that we all use. So this is called a Triumph scraper. It's in here in the... I'm assuming when he says window tinners, he means flat glass tinners, so... Safety position, because when you use the scraper, the cap will stay in the safety position. You do your job with scraping the window, and then the scraper goes back into a safety position, never leaving the scraper with the cap exposed where you can cut yourself and get injured. You can clip things on like tape measures anywhere on the belt, so it's very comfortable and it's going to be sturdy. We also have some straps that you can add and you can clip those on different places throughout the belt so when i'm not using tape i may put it here when i need the tape sometimes i may put it you know on the front of the belt just makes it easy to uh side note to whoever's editing uh uh shapiro's videos the the background music with headphones on is way too loud you need to bring that shit down to like 30 negative 30 db and keep the audio around seven and a half to five, negative seven and a half to negative five dB, so that the audio is louder than the background music and not flooded out. Just saying, fair warning. Access the tape when you need it. This, of course, is our paper towel dispenser. It comes with a sleeve so that you don't hit it into, say, a customer's table and cause any problems with that. Good so B-roll. Protective sleeve that comes with the paper. Good video towel so holder. far. This is our snapper box. You can put this in many different places. I personally like it here, so by it being there, you can just snap your blades. Of course, your blades are going to go into this box. There's a magnet to hold it in there securely. But here is the multi-pouch. The multi-pouch can be set up many different ways. How we like to use it is a scrubby pad in the front, squeegee here, you can put your knives, alpha pack. If you use a stainless sprayer, the handle goes there very nicely. You can put squeegees here. The back of the pouch has some unique features as well. It has an open pouch and a pouch that closes with Velcro. The last feature that I love is we have carabiner spots throughout the belt. This one is used for your keys. So you're never gonna get to a job and forget your keys and lose them and waste time. Time is money, so this is gonna save you both time and money because your keys are always clipped to you. That's the concept of the Evolution Tool Belt. It saves you time, it saves you money, it makes you more efficient. You look like a pro, you're going to act like a pro with draw tools. Not too bad of a video, except for the background music being absurdly loud. Besides that, everything else was freaking awesome. Uh, is there more? Is there more? Is it, or is it the same video? All right, so those are the tools. So I think those are cool. <laughs> chatting, 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 chatting. So yeah, that's what we have going on. Uh, whoa, Patty, big, t uh, big timing with us with his audio knowledge. Sheesh, <laughs> big timing us with his audio knowledge. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I started off as just a window tinter and an iPhone just trying to make videos you have no idea i have i have basically a minor in film in film uh filmmaking i need to know things about audio i need like when you get off an iphone and you're on like a computer like first of all this whole entire streaming setup is like a ten thousand dollar streaming setup but like i need to know audio i need to know proper lighting like if my lighting is low is let's see here let's see if i can fuck around with this if my lighting is too low my camera starts grainy it starts looking really really grainy if it's too high i get blown out and it's it's just too much um i have a really good camera that really just focuses well on this um so the lighting has to be kind of just right to keep it clear i have to have good hearing i have to good a good quality mic you know there's all kinds of stuff I just wanted to be a window tinder to shoot some videos and, and I had to learn all kinds of shit so I can make a good quality stream and content and stuff like that. So it was just kind of stuff you learn <laughs> over the years. Uh, don't hate on me in my heels. I feel sexy. Oh God. I love Martin. I love Martin. That's the good thing about Martin. He's, he, can, he can take a joke without being a little whiny baby back. Biatch. 
All right, guys. Do you guys have any more questions, concerns, shout outs, criticisms? Um, if not, I think we're gonna skedaddle. I'll give it a two minute timer. How about that one? Two minute timer. Oop. Uh. Oh shit, I did something. Cool. All right, two minute timer on the clock. We're gonna go ahead and close out here. If last questions, concerns, shout outs, and uh, let's go ahead and give some uh, some uh, some love over to our sponsors here. If you guys don't know, let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's go ahead and throw this out. Big shout out to our our, our guys over at TintWiz, TintWiz.com. Go ahead and check them out. TintWiz.com is the uh, the number one CRM suite for window tinters. Flat glass, automotive. Um, you could pretty much probably do other stuff as well, but it's mainly for flat glass and automotive. But they're really raw, really, really awesome. Free 30 day trial at sign up. All you need is an email and a password, and you're set. Good to go, baby. DSP dry string prep big shout out to them um, if you guys haven't tried dry string prep is the healthy alternative to dryer sheets um, go ahead check it out for more information and to purchase you can go to dry shrink prep.com and also we are doing um, what are we doing here so we we added four ounce refill jars to our um, we added four ounce refill jars to our our offerings. So right now, in regards to that, uh, because of that, in celebration of that, we are doing a a uh, soak shield giveaway with our four ounce refill jars. I believe there's only ten left. So uh, we 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 had twenty, and the ten has already been sold. So basically, with the purchase of a four ounce jar, you get the OG soak shield. That's a twenty nine ninety nine dollar value. So uh, while supplies last, probably going to be uh, it probably won't last past today. So if you guys want to get, um, get your hands on a four ounce refill jar and a giveaway soak shield, um, go ahead and go to dry shrink prep dot com. And, uh, let's see here. And last but not least, big shout out to our boys over at solar effects, window films, check them out. Solar effects, window films dot com. Um, they are my primary film, my exclusive film for automotive automotive window tint um, for my own personal business, Sun Solutions Tinting. Uh, the Vulgars, those guys, um, they're just amazing. Sean, Robert, everyone over there, they're, they're, they're really great customer service. And like I said, um, I've been working with them for about a year and... Um, and hopefully they'll continue to sponsor the channel. Um, so we're gonna see that we're gonna see how that goes um, within the next uh, couple weeks. Um, but if not, it's been a pleasure working with them. They are really, really great guys. Their film is really quality film, um, and uh, it's been a really great, a really great ride with them. So um, if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, SolarFXWindowFilms.com. Big shout out to all, all, all the sponsors. Um, also. Let's go, uh, last but not least, certainly not least, let's give some big shout outs to, uh, to the supporters of the channel, uh, T jet over here with some super chats here. And also, uh, we gotta say it. We gotta say it. big shout out to the top super chatter of the evening, the day, the session alligator window tent, Mr. Martin Fowler. Thank you very much. 2496. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate it. Definitely helps, uh, keep the ball rolling and keep us doing what we need to be doing here at uh at uh on this channel so um i know the last thing was is that uh this has only been going on youtube right so this has only been on youtube um and i was doing multi-streams before to like the facebook groups and things like that so i am gonna pick that up uh because that was a monthly fee and i was not streaming nearly as much as i was before um and I was very limited to what I could do. I just basically stopped paying for that service, but I will be paying for it again. So just hang tight. We'll be in there. We'll be in there for sure. Uh, fire up the movie. I care a lot on Netflix and let's have a live stream breakdown. <laughs> I, that one, I, I probably could do that one. That one I probably could do. Uh, when will there be an alligator pack DSP with eight ounces of product in one pouch? Ooh, the alligator pack, just the green alligator pack. Ugh. I might do that. Martin's been hounding me for for months about doing something like that. I, uh, I'll think about it, Martin. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Uh, okay, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys. If you guys are new here, uh, you know, consider subscribing. Hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I go live. My new and updated schedule is basically I'm doing live streams Friday, Saturday, or Sunday 
um and then i'll like take a snippet from the live stream and then upload that as a dedicated video and then i'm also my timing has been doing weekly vlogs that will release on tuesday tuesday mornings 9 30 that way that monday through thursday like i have something going on and, and being sent out uh, as content but uh but we're doing more content than we've ever done before um i have dedicated time so that i can focus more on content creation and uh building the brand and and getting knowledge out and doing all kinds of kick-ass shit it's gonna be a badass year so thank you guys for joining us today and um i guess that's it i'll see y'all next time i love y'all be safe be easy We'll talk soon.